Welcome to Etzo Renemetsas. I'm your host, Simpiwe Lamini, and today we are joined by the head of electricity unit, Umexueli Mtsembu. Mbelasa, welcome to the show. Uh, thank you, Mr. Lamini. Uh, thank you for inviting me here and to the viewers. Now, see, I and this week we, we woke up to the news that um, Etzo Renemetsas will be subjected to additional load shedding. So, which means that the municipalities will now be subjected to load shedding from stage one, like the rest of the country. Um, can you please tell us what informed this decision? Uh, you must remember, Mr. Lamine, that uh, previously, which was 2022 April, we had floods. Immediately after the floods, uh, we did not know what damage was, was, was happening on our infrastructure. Therefore, we wrote a letter to National Control just informing them of our situation mm -hmm. and requesting that we be out of uh, load shedding in that period while we're doing the assessment on all our infrastructure of which it was granted to us, and then we were able to stop load shedding entirely from, October, from oh, April 2022 till end of July. Mm. Then, but in June, ESCOM came back and to ask the question, how far have you gone with your assessment in terms of infrastructure? At that time, we, 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 we understood and we knew which was affected the most compared to the other. Mm -hmm. So there, were, there was those, those substations that were badly damaged, that were beyond repairs, that needed to be started afresh, mm -hmm. but there were those that were, that were fixed here and there. Yeah. So at least we knew, then we agreed with ESCOM that they're gonna put a temporary load shedding schedule, mm -hmm. which began in August 2022. That's mm -hmm. the one that is running up until now, or until the 24th mm -hmm. of uh, uh, May 2023. So after that, then we have created now a new one. Um, what has changed now? Okay, there are substations that we have removed from load shedding totally. Okay. The likes of Maran Ridge, uh, people know living in the west, that it got bent down to ashes. So mm -hmm. we're putting a temporal board, we are, we are running a mobile uh, substation there that is running. So we cannot do load shedding in that substation. That means the community that is affected in that area, including Gwandengezi, including all the areas nearby that substation, they are not going to experience load shedding in the next three years mm -hmm. because we're busy building that substation. There are many others who are having a lot of problems relating to a protection system. Mm -hmm. So because of that, we are excluding them from a load shedding schedule. But those ones that were experiencing load schedule since August last year till mm -hmm. now are still going to continue to experience it. Mm -hmm. And uh, apart from that, mm -hmm. remember there were some loads that we removed from load shedding schedule, similar loads like waterworks. Mm -hmm. So look at Inanda Dam. So Inanda Dam has not been on load shedding. Mm -hmm. even. It, it only happened before the floods. After mm -hmm. the floods, it never came back to load mm -hmm. shedding. Uh, look at the Wikings. Wikings also not being load shedded. And the mm -hmm. one which is uh, sitting in the reservoir hills mm -hmm. is not being done. There's a major one from Amgeni. Mm -hmm. So it's not being done. So mm -hmm. those are still going to be uh, experiencing the same uh, uh, favor they were getting before. Well, mm -hmm. it is clear that um, that we're assuming that this announcement is being made because our electricity in infrastructure is now stable. But that seems not to be the case then why are we being subjected to this additional um, load shedding? In, in Atawin, we've got uh, almost 120 major substations. Mm. It's not all of them that are badly affected. So we have to, it, it, it is a license condition that we have to contribute to a load shedding coming in. It's not like it's a nice thing to do. Mm. We are forced actually by our license condition. If we don't do it, we may lose the license. Mm -hmm. So it's a matter of legal requirements that we have to parti participate on load shedding. Mm -hmm. So it's not an nice to have. If you ask me and the people that I interact with, no one wants load shedding. Mm -hmm. People in Durban, they don't want load shedding. I personally don't want load shedding, but it, it is a necessity. Mm -hmm. We have to do it. And if we don't do it, well, we may be having a risk of collapsing the grid nationally, but also we may lose our license for not complying with the grid code, which we signed mm -hmm. when we got the license to so say we're gonna participate in matters like this. Mm -hmm. So from, it, from the 25th of May, what is going to change? What from what from what we are used to. Okay, so what we are used to, we are used to starting from stage four of load shedding upwards. Now we're going to start from stage one, but the difference of the schedule that we have designed, we have put uh, or we have inserted a connotation which is A and B. Now instead of you having a, a block one, we are now mm -hmm. having block one A, block mm -hmm. one B, block two A, block two B, all up to sixteen. Mm -hmm. So those is those are only affecting the residential and commercial businesses. Now, above that, which is now stage, uh, sort of block 17, 18, 19, 20, those are affecting the industrial sector, which was not also part of load shedding, mm -hmm. but we've now put them in there. If you look at uh, block 1 to 16, A and B, 
those ones are going to be stage one to six. So as, as of now, we're going up to stage six in, in the country. We've not gone beyond that. So that means if we go, if stage six is being called upon, we're mm. going to do block 16, 16 A and B, up to 16 A and B. Mm. Those are the people that are going to be affected. Should we go to uh, uh, stage seven, then businesses now, the major ones now start coming in mm. on block seven. Okay. Again, I'm going to exclude the ones that I said are not going to be included because of the infrastructure damage in those areas. Mm. But the ones that don't have any damage are going to form in part of the load trading schedule mm -hmm. when we go beyond stage six. But we are praying not to get there. Mm -hmm. I hear you, Mbelaza, but people, they always complain about the schedule. Um, they will say, um, we're expecting um, electricity to go off at a certain time, and it only went off um, an hour later. Are we going to stick to the load shedding schedule? I, I, I can't recall actually Natawin having a similar complaint because of the system that we're using when we're doing load shedding. Mm -hmm. Actually, there was a saying that we've been collecting where, where, wherever we go that says we are, we are as punctual as load shedding. Mm -hmm. It's simply because it's, it is computer driven. Mm -hmm. So the computer knows now when you say 12 o'clock, the 12 o'clock, the moment it comes, the power comes off automatically. Mm -hmm. And the power comes on automatically. There's no human element that comes in into that. We're using a software mm -hmm. program that does that, that runs the load shedding in Natawin. Mm -hmm. So people must not worry when you say 12 o'clock, it's going to be. 12 o'clock, when I say 12 o'clock, it can be. But mm -hmm. having said that, it's possible that when the power comes back in, it may come back in for a few seconds or even minutes and then goes off again due to, low, to, to overloading coming through. Mm -hmm. But the time of being off, uh, that one is punctual. We are confident of that one. Mm -hmm. On site, yes, it's going to come unless someone has, turn, has done something on our network. Mm -hmm. Some people, they take an opportunity when the power is off during load shedding to go and steal some mm -hmm. cables and some lines or any other infrastructure that do vandalism in certain places. So when the power comes back on, it doesn't come back on. doesn't mean we didn't bring it on. We brought it back on, but it didn't reach the customer because of the damaged infrastructure in between. Mm -hmm. But how, how, how can that be prevented? Um, like you are saying that it happens that after load shedding, the result will come back for a few hours and yeah. then for a few minutes and yeah. then... It, 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 it goes again. So how can that be prevented? Yes, good is, question. Is, is there something that we need to do as customers to prevent that from, from, from happening? It is a request coming from us, from the Tegwini Municipality Electricity Department, that all the customers were experiencing a load shedding while we are off, if the customers can assist us by switching off the geysers. For now, we understand that the geyser is the one that contributes the biggest load, which is we call the standing load. Mm -hmm. It's a load that is just standing for the power to come in, so for you to, to be heated up. The geyser is, in a sense, is a big kettle full of water. Mm -hmm. So the moment there's no power, the temperature in water it drops down. And now when the power comes back on, then the power goes straight to the geyser to heat it up mm -hmm. again. So if we can drop down the geysers, all the people who are using the geysers when they are off, particularly those circuits that are coming off when they come on after load shedding, if they can assist us by so doing all of them, there will be no problem of, of such. Mm -hmm. Because the power will be restored, and then after 10 or 20 minutes, they can bring back their, their cases up. Now it's already stabilized. It's normal load to them, so it will not go off if mm -hmm. we can stick to that. It's more of a request that we're putting out there to, to the public to say, please help us and help yourselves too. Then at least we're going to make sure that when the power comes back on, everybody enjoys the power that is mm -hmm. back on. Mm -hmm. So from Thursday, we're getting a new um, schedule. schedule. So is, are we sort of like getting a a grace period for us to load the schedule on our on our system or is on starting exactly on the on the on the twenty fifth and, and where and where can we access this um, new schedule? Okay. What we have requested through national control and ESCOM is, is, is that we we, are, we would like to be out of load shedding on the 24th. It's going to only come back on the 25th at 5 o'clock in the morning. Mm -hmm. So what we're going to do, we're going to remove the existing schedule from the system in our, in our software and then put the new one that we're going to be coding in. It will take us a day to do so. By the, f by the 25th, which is in the morning uh, uh, on Thursday, we'll be ready actually to start. Whatever stage that is being called upon, it will be automatically coming through mm -hmm. to them. Uh, as for where to access the, the, the schedule, you can find it in our, in our website, in the Etawini Municipal website, which is called www.deben.gov.za mm. then you can see the portion that talks about load shedding there. Mm. You'll see it is available. So you go to load shedding, you will be able to download all the schedules sitting in there. Yeah. Then you can look at your area. And it has changed, by the way. Mm. And I, I know I'm living in Westville, and they used to have a uh, block 10 that mm. was being load shedded, but now we're sitting in 4B. Mm. We're not going to block 10 anymore. We're now block 4B. Mm. So that means people in Westville must now look at their uh, 4B block, not at the 10 block. Mm -hmm. Now, even in the 10, which we're sharing with the reservoir hills, they're still sitting at 10A. Then, 
So no longer 10 now, it's now 10A, and mm -hmm. we are now 4B. And look at them last, them last divided into two, is 4A and, 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 and 7A. So mm -hmm. there's an east side and the west side. So they're sitting in now A's. They were 4 and 7, now they're 4A and 7A. Mm -hmm. So which means that on, on the news paid, um, social media platforms we will get um, the how-to in terms of how to read the new um, um, load shedding schedule. Yes, we've put in, we've, we've, we've brought in the, the, the app that we've, we're also going to be published so mm. that people can familiarize themselves and get to know where they live in. The errors are listed. Mm -hmm. And um, again, look at um, the nearest error. If your actual name error is not appearing, we may be using a name that is known to us, not, not known to you. Mm. Uh, for example, there are areas like in the type of a village kind of area mm -hmm. that they may know a particular name, but we don't know the name, we know a bigger area name. So we call it by that mm. because we do our load shedding at the transmission level. Okay. So we, we, we just knock off all the transmission substations and the entire power is off in that substation unless where we have already coded 11 kV feeders and we are able to exclude certain uh, uh, key customers that are not going to be part of load shedding. Mm. In, in, in that instance, then we are doing it still, but we are excluding those breakers which are going to those customers that are sensitive in nature, that mm. are not being load shedded at the moment. So um, lastly, Mr. Mbele, say, um, where can we access um, the new load shedding schedule? We have it on all, all our um, social media platforms and mm -hmm. also in the media we've sent the request for them to be printed mm -hmm. but also it is available on our, on our website which is www.deben.gov.za then there's a, a portion that talks about load shedding that you can click and when you get to it you'll be able to download the entire schedule but also we, are, we want to post in the same uh, website mm -hmm. the guideline of how you can read and understand that same schedule. Mm -hmm. Mr. Mbelas, thank you so much for coming through. We hope that this new um, load sharing shade will, will prevent us from getting to day zero, the total breakers. We hope so, and we're praying not to get there. Well, that's all we had for you this week. Remember to like our page and subscribe. The details are on the bottom of the screen. Thank you. See you next week.